Hi, in this video, prepare to be blessed by the ministry of Apostle Joshua Selman. In this video, we'll be sharing with us the power of the blood of Jesus and how to make it effective in our life. Get ready to be blessed by this video production. God bless you. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. You will change that word Zion to your name. Thou shall arise. Thou that sittest in the heavens, arise. And have mercy upon Joshua Selman for the Kairos time. The time to favor him, yet the set time is come. Someone lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Someone pray, someone pray. Thou shall arise. Thou shall arise. Give him no rest until he establishes your life, your family, your territory. Someone is praying. Rest round about, rest round about, rest round about the fullness of joy. Rest round about. He that told you have asked for nothing, he says, Ask and you shall receive. Ask and you shall receive. Are you praying? Are you asking? Ask and you shall receive. Welcome to Chat Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, The entrance of thy word giveth life. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. Ask and you shall receive. Shabra get the back at those Kalita Parusia Tapa. Ekra get the post go to Paratusia Ta. Ask and you shall receive. Ask and you shall receive. Abracate Parusta Pegatos. Sambra take Parusta Lepresca di Palatus. Sabra Catabaratu Cosopra get the Balacotias. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please be sensitive. Psalm 68. My God, I sense such a strong anointing in this place. Psalm 68. Please give us from verse 1. Shani sali kabrandos giata, maris kobratus giata. Let God arise. He says, and let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him. Verse two: As smoke is driven away, so drive them away. As wax melted before fire, so let the wicked perish at the presence of God. Verse three: He says, but let the righteous be glad let them rejoice before god yea let them exceedingly rejoice someone say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that this is my season of victory my season of rejoicing therefore oh god arise arise in your vengeance arise in judgment open your mouth and begin to pray over the works of darkness that fight the integrity of your speakings in my life please pray oh god arise mention the name of your family oh god arise mention the name of your spouse oh god arise mention your ministry mention your business oh god arise mention the name of your corporation mention the name of nigeria mention africa mention your nation oh god arise thou shall arise
arise and have mercy upon Zion. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon the oasis. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selman for the time to favor her. Yea, the Kairos moment is here. Hallelujah. Please don't be tired. Isaiah 43 and verse 18. I just had this word in my spirit. 43 and verse 18. This is a prophetic word that God is giving someone. No matter what has happened from January, the losses, the pain, the disappointments. I know you fasted and it looked like things have not lined up. He said, remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Verse 19. He says, behold. The word behold means conceive as a reality in your spirit. I do a new thing. Someone open your mouth and begin to declare. Lord, do a new thing. Do a new thing. Do a new thing. Let it be another story. Not like before again. Behold, I do a new thing. 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 Now is the acceptable time to do a new thing. Now is the acceptable time to arise in the name of Jesus. The power of God is going to start moving across this place. And please hear me. I want you to bring those people that the anointing and I will tell you power of God is for that all the people that the power of God is coming upon right now the Lord is showing me that there is a season there are patterns in your life and family that is coming to an end and he's opening a new chapter I want you to please bring them out right now in the name of Jesus by the rod of a higher priest, we administer the power and the grace the life and the glory of Jesus Please bring them out in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Please bring them out. Negative cycles over families repetition of negative patterns the lord is bringing it to an end that you will experience the salvation of the lord whether you are in front whether you are at the back the power of god is reaching you right now you are standing not just for yourself you are standing even for your families in the name of jesus that demonic embargo have that woman please sitting upon your destiny now is the time it must give way in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god Bring them out. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one will. Oh, 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 victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. Oh, 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 oh. shall Baratoski Adabara. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. 
I'm hearing in my spirit failure at the edge of breakthrough that you see things but just when it's time to obtain it it looks like there is a force I don't know who I'm speaking to but I'm seeing fire just falling on people that demonic spirit in the name of Jesus Christ here at the Oasis conference we announce in the realm of the spirit now is the acceptable time release God's people right now 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 release God's people right now, right now. help that lady please hallelujah pastor Nat was sharing yesterday a vision that God showed him about people who were in a class writing exams you see exams are the midwives between seasons every time you see people sitting to write an exam is because promotion is on the way there is an anointing that is coming on a few people I'm seeing the number 14 and by this anointing it is the grace to push through a new level of anointing a new level of power receive it right now receive it right now receive it right now some of you are in ministry a fresh dimension of the operation of the spirit at work in your life in the name of jesus the grace to posture yourself in the spirit until you rise to that level we decree we decree we decree by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah please i want you to pay attention i want you to pay attention the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing just the feet of people and i'm seeing it bound with chains not hands just the feet i'm seeing chains you see when your feet is tied it means there is no progress there is no progress this is more than delay delay means you are moving slowly this is stagnation you are at the same point in the name of jesus i don't know who is in this condition whether following online or here every chain some of you will begin to feel physical fire on your feet right now physical fire on your feet I decree and declare chains break right now 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 please help them chains this is not delay delay means you are moving but you are slow stagnation means you are at the same spot hallelujah i will always pray for you for the grace for speed there are many people who i taught you yesterday that there is chronos and there is kairos honestly there are some of you right now life you are already behind schedule in destiny what you need is beyond progress what you need is speed i want to release that grace people will start running now please whether you are an usher or not i want you to help them and hold them so they don't injure themselves i stand upon this grace by the privilege of the oil and the mantle of god oasis 2022 i prophesy receive the grace for speed receive the grace i prophesy speed 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 i decree and declare some of you from this night your testimony begins to manifest i prophesy speed i prophesy speed i prophesy speed in partnership with the grace upon this house i prophesy speed every family that has been laid back this is your season receive speed in the name of jesus speed speed oh may your feet be like hind's feet you will run like elijah you will run like elijah and help that woman i prophesy to you you will run like elijah 
will overtake the chariots of Ahab even down to Israel. Hallelujah. Saneme shalakos kati branda gabarusiata. Please don't be distracted. Don't be distracted. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 8. This is what I hear in my spirit and then I begin to pray for the sick. Revelation chapter 3 and verse 8. This is the prophetic word that God is giving someone. I have set before you an open door. It says, and no man shall shut it. I don't know who that person is. Help them please. In the name of Jesus, I send it as a prophetic word with fire to your spirit, with fire to your family, with fire, Oasis, Lagos, the body of Christ. In the name of Jesus, I declare prophetically that door is open before you. A father, be open. A father, be open. In the realm of the spirit, lift up your heads, all ye gates, be ye lifted, and send doors. Be lifted, ancient doors. Be lifted, ancient doors. Be lifted, ancient doors. Be lifted, ancient doors. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for the sick now. The Lord is showing me a vision. I don't know whether it's someone's loved one here or for mine. I'm seeing a woman, they are passing oxygen like um, the tube just for survival. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a woman quite elderly. This is what I'm seeing in my vision. I don't know if this is someone's mother or perhaps someone is possible that people are following this conference from hospitals and releasing their faith to be healed in the name of Jesus. Whoever that person is, whether you are watching online or you are somewhere in Lagos or you are the relative of someone here represented, in the name of Jesus we declare, death is taken away from you. Death is taken away from you. Hallelujah. This may concern many people but God is just showing me two or three people, the three people really what I'm seeing. Every time something good is about to happen, you will lie down and either you will see yourself in an old building, it's like a former house. This will happen and the moment you wake up, it looks like that thing is just aborted. This is what I'm seeing. I don't know who you are, but in the blotting out every handwriting and the ordinances that spoke against us. My Bible says he nailed it to his cross. I declare prophetically over you, whatever connects you with ancestry and inheritance by the blood of the eternal covenant, it is broken now. It is broken now. It is broken now. It is broken now. Hallelujah. For all those who are here in front, I declare every demonic power sitting upon your destiny. Now is the acceptable time for your deliverance. Therefore, be set free now. Be set free now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be set free now in the name of Jesus Christ. Be set free now. Who is Obina? Is there someone with the name Obina? I'm hearing a name Obina. Please oh, verify that. Let's verify that. Obina, my goodness. God is opening the destinies of people this night. No, you don't have to kneel. Please stand, sir. Obina. Can I pray for you, sir? You see, but listen. Honestly, it is a good thing to be in the house of God. You don't know where your word will come. Just one moment. And it can end years. Years of captivity. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you, sir. 
the lord always shows me this in my vision when people are about to rise to a new level for you sir i'm seeing you climb a ladder in the spirit and climbing a ladder is a sign of promotion increase and a new level hallelujah i declare over you by the power that raised christ from the dead between now and december may the god of heaven bring this prophetic word to pass in your life in the name of jesus help him please help him let me talk to the other one sir i'm hearing in my spirit and i will restore i've not prayed for restoration but this is what i'm hearing i will restore i will restore that everything that has happened this year as rough as it has been for you the lord is saying i will restore do you believe that sir i stretch my hands and i declare over you by the spirit of grace in the name of jesus christ let there be restoration for you restoration by the power of the holy spirit hallelujah there is a family here the lady is a pharmacist i'm seeing that god is visiting that family he's saying i have heard the cry of your mother this lady is wearing like pink pink this is what is there someone like that please very is she a pharmacist sorry sometimes sometimes don't feel embarrassed we ask like this because there are people who just believe that everybody fakes this thing i've said it again and again not everybody is stupid there are people who fear god and there are people who respect themselves and their own destinies hallelujah don't just see everything happening prophetically and believe people are playing games no no hallelujah Hallelujah, thine the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thine the glory. We thy love restore us again. Where, where is your mother? Port She's in Port Yes. I want you. I want you to tell Mama that in her lifetime what she has been praying for for years because in my vision i'm seeing that your mother has been praying that she's saying even if she does not do well that god will raise her children her own is not even so that you would do anything back for her listen let me tell you the truth thank god you came for this conference we are praying that god will leave mama and i'm using this to pray for every mother here grandmother in your lifetime you will see the answer of your prayer on your children you are a pharmacist in lagos here yes, sir. where med plus med plus father in the name of jesus christ i declare wearing the shirt in the name of jesus christ how long have you been there September. should i tell you what i'm seeing i'm looking at you here and then i'm looking at you again in the midst of white people this is what i'm seeing now whatever i tell you no matter what i prophesy take the time and pray okay the, the, the spirit of a prophet is subject to the prophet many people when god shows us things if he gives us the liberty we share but the greater prophecy the greatest of them is the prophecy of scripture you owe it to stay with the word of god and to get your convictions derived from scripture more than the speakings of a man are we together now but i'm seeing you in the midst of white people and this is uk you see i don't know if you are relocating there or going and coming this is the door that god is opening for you remember i i spoke about revelations 3 and verse 8 that the lord is setting before you an open door in the name of jesus here at oasis 2022 we decree and declare may that grace rest upon you and then upon every other person too who is here the pharmacist in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare upon your life i'm seeing someone's money that has been held for a long time 
this is resources you have pursued it you have pursued it i don't know whose business or whose company this is what god is revealing to me i stand by faith with you and i decree in the name of jesus now is the appointed time let it be released for you by the power of the holy spirit let it be released for you right now let it be released for you right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah let it be released for you right now there is a gentleman not a lady a lady may shout but there is a gentleman who will shout right now under the, the anointing of the spirit there is something that god is removing both from his life and his family the lord is this is a gentleman oh. you see yeah signs signs and wonders signs and wonders are a revelation of the possibilities that reside in the christ hallelujah now god begins to speak about a gentleman and saying he's removing something from his life and he's removing reproach from his family in the name of jesus for that that gentleman i decree and declare right now by the power that raised christ from the dead let there be liberty for you right now let there be liberty for you right now kunle kunle who is that kunle we're going to pray for the sick now who is kunle your name is kunle sir I'm going to pray for you in the name that is above all names I heard the word Kunle who does IT Kunle I will pray for you but you are into IT I in the name of Jesus Christ you are raising people in this season and you are lifting people supernaturally by the Spirit of God you have mentioned the name Kunle I decree and declare upon you Kunle let the mighty hand of God rest upon you now in the name of Jesus help me as touching the areas where you serve the anointing that causes you to excel for all of you who have come I release that grace upon you in the name of Jesus particularly for those of you in IT in the name of Jesus I connect you strategically I connect you to global partners may God shoot you like an arrow in the name of Jesus Christ for his glory and for the praise of his name we decree and we declare this over your life in Jesus name I pray let's pray for the sick we're out of time I want to pray for the sick right now hallelujah bring the person that starts laughing now under the anointing in. this is not a mechanical thing these people are intelligent people they are not going to stand jump and start laughing listen the Bible says the shouts of joy huh? the shouts of joy and of rejoicing shall always remain in the tent of the righteous this thing you see is a prophetic note of victory in the realm of the spirit they are not just standing up to be laughing like this. these people are adults they are intelligent people this is the ministry of the spirit hallelujah in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare the victory that has been established in the realm of the spirit we cause it to manifest physically we cause it to manifest physically we cause it to manifest physically the Lord is showing me someone this is very interesting may God bless you but the Lord is showing me someone you had a dream in that dream you were holding a trumpet but you don't play a trumpet physically but this is what you saw in your dream the lord just revealed this to me i want to pray for that person 
and i will tell you the meaning of please don't tell lies that you a trumpet but physically you are not somebody who plays a trumpet but this is what you saw in the dream come there is a god that reveals secrets the bible says then the secret was revealed unto daniel when did you have recent when was that i can't remember the date but recently and you too not recently but i've seen it many times in the name of jesus i want to pray for you you know what a trumpet is we we're sharing yesterday with pastor Nath. you see the trumpet huh, is not just a sound a musical sound trumpets end seasons and open other seasons are we together now yes the, the trumpet is a unique instrument even according to scripture that is always used when seasons are opening and when seasons are ending even the return of christ is going to be by the trumpet not a violin not a harp not a cymbal it the archangel will sound that trumpet when jesus was born there were angels with trumpets they said glory be to god in the highest and on earth peace and goodwill even towards men we're soon getting to the session of the trumpets because nigeria is about to hear a sound we are releasing a sound from here in the name of jesus a sound that will move to the six geopolitical zones of this nation in the name of jesus christ like you have held it like you have seen i decree and declare that the season that needs to come to an end we bring it to an end prophetically right now and the season that needs to be unlocked for you i open you to that season in the name of jesus christ we blow that shofar in the realm of the spirit and we decree and declare step into that new season by the power that raised christ from the dead hallelujah is there someone with a name Diola or like Adiola or Diola? Diola, is there someone with that name? Let's pray for the sick now. While whoever is with that name, who is that, please? Okay, it's both male and female. What do you do, my friend? I'm seeing you counting money. Accountant. What do you do? Accountant. Accountant. What do you do? Marketing. Diola. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. Do you know that there are arrows that fly by day? There is the noisome pestilence, the destruction. I'm not a prophet of doom, my friend. You understand? But I need to pray for you. Because I'm seeing you getting into serious trouble and it has to do with money. And I'm seeing you standing in a police station. I don't know what this is about. Please, I don't mean to embarrass you. Right? The, the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. So every time we give a word, it is not revealing that the, the prophecy is not the situation. The prophecy is the power of God to circumvent that situation and that Jesus be revealed through it. You understand? Yes. So telling somebody I'm seeing you with police is not a prophetic word. How does that edify him? Remember, prophecy is for edification. So if it does not edify, it does not carry the character of prophecy. Are we together? You must find a component in it that now reveals Jesus. So telling him this is not to embarrass him. I don't know you. Have, I'm, I'm not sure that I even know that he's an accountant. Are we together now? so that if god is calling into the prophetic ministry it's not just about announcing things and saying a lot of things and causing pain there must be a component within your speaking that reveals jesus the spirit of prophecy is about the revelation of jesus even through situations hallelujah so what i just described represents darkness but what does the bible say about darkness that which is a more sure word of prophecy that the light shineth in darkness if it is the spirit of god that gave me that word it cannot stop at just the revelation of this there must be a way of introducing the character of light to that situation this is dominion and this is how to communicate the prophetic from a scriptural way that reveals jesus and edifies the people are we together in the name of jesus we decree and declare 
that the lord himself will keep you from all evil jesus was teaching us to pray and he said deliver us from evil we declare that you are delivered from evil the grace that will keep you far from evil may that grace rest upon you and for all of you who have come by the spirit of the living god there is someone please don't be embarrassed your sister had a miscarriage i just saw it in my vision right now your sister had a miscarriage you don't have to come out i'm going to just give you the prophetic word i want you to tell your sister i don't know who that gentleman i'm seeing the face of a gentleman in the name of jesus i want you to tell all right so you tell your sister huh that i'm seeing her take in by january again by january and that without fail without fail god is going to give her a baby boy in the name of jesus christ father we pray for these ones you brought them out by your spirit tonight everything that represents a limitation in your life we call upon the god of seasons the god of times we declare that he will change everything and bring it to the obedience of christ in the mighty name of jesus christ please lay your hands where you are trusting god for a miracle now please hear me do not tolerate sickness in your body sickness can inconvenience you there are many ways that the devourer can come into your life through sickness he will not attack your finances directly he will attack your health and that of your loved ones in a way that no matter how much you earn there are people who earn millions per month and yet they cannot account for it because it goes it is distributed in maintaining health conditions i want you to stand in faith right now as we pray lay your hands over that part of your body you are trusting god for a miracle for very quickly and then if it is a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and by the way you can stand for those who are trusting god your family members perhaps your spouse no matter what the situation is i want you to stand faith and stand in faith the god of heaven the one who changes times and seasons is about to meet you at the point of your needs as i pray for you i want you to shout a loud amen and receive your healing while i speak in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i command that pain the spirit that is behind every pain every sickness every disease from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing fire some of you are feeling heat like a very a hot sensation going through your body is the healing power of jesus that is just going through your body right now please help them in the name of jesus i declare be healed now be healed now be healed now everyone having an eye condition whether total blindness or partial blindness we speak over your eyes be healed now i sense in my spirit that there are so many people connecting online and they are connecting particularly for this healing miracle now for some of them they began to receive their miracles right from hallelujah challenge and others are connecting wherever you are in the name of jesus we are standing in faith right now whether you are connecting from europe america africa and any of the states within this country i release the power of god over you be healed right now the lord is showing me someone i don't know if you are here or maybe following online or wherever you are using a neck collar there you have a problem you are not able to move your neck i want you to check it now move it right now the healing power of jesus has touched you right now wherever you are in the name of jesus bone conditions be healed right now all kinds of bone conditions be healed in jesus name abdominal pain be healed in the name of jesus 
I'm seeing someone you were diagnosed with kidney stones in the name of Jesus Christ you, you were diagnosed who is that person the Lord is telling me you are here you were diagnosed with kidney stones is there someone like that in the name of Jesus Christ you were diagnosed with kidney stones when when last year in the hospital yes sir have they done any surgery or anything not yet. do you believe in the power of god yes sir. look at me my friend what couldn't you do before with it on my own at all i used to feel pains and i was told that i one of my kidneys affected give me your hand damage. you believe in the power of god look and leave my brother leave look to jesus christ and leave it's recorded in his word hallelujah there's only that you look and leave. in the name of jesus i use him as a point of contact to anyone here suffering kidney stone something is happening to you my friend in the name of jesus look at the power of god upon him i cause kidney stone now now out of him right now in the name of jesus christ out of him right now by the power that raised christ from the dead out of him right now out of him right now in the name of jesus christ out of him right now in the name of jesus christ for the bible says he who the son sets free he says he's free indeed. my friend look at me look at me stand up run bend down bend down any pain turn left and right left and right any pain look at this when you can try to go and use the restroom and let's know what happened to you now look and leave my brother leave look to jesus christ and leave the lord is showing me someone you don't you are not blind but you don't see very well from a distance right now the power of god is touching you please believe in miracles in the name of jesus the anointing of the spirit is coming on your eyes and supernaturally a miracle will happen for you right now in the name of jesus the lord is showing me a lady your right breast is like there's a, a, a lump or multiple lumps the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone suffering from severe pain is there's something they call tonsillitis where you have severe pain around your neck this has been a serious pain for you but the power of god right now as i'm speaking the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing someone you are having severe pain just at the the lumbar area of your back you've have when you get up in the morning is sometimes it's even difficult for you to stand the power of god we're going to take a few testimonies here right now the power of god is touching you right now again the lord is showing me someone i don't know what god is doing with necks you are not wearing a a, a a a bracelet but you have a serious problem turning sometimes you can you only lie down on one side of your bed the power of god is touching you right now begin to do what you could not do before in the name of jesus the son of the living god in the name of jesus christ again the lord is showing me a lady you've had severe pain on the left side of your breast there's you've not seen anything that is a cause for concern but it's, you've been having excruciating pain in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare right now the power of god is coming upon you and i bring you liberty in the name of jesus christ the lord is showing me even though it's for a short time but we do not there is no amount there's no matter how short a time pain is pain is pain 
I'm seeing someone two years. You've been married for two years. You're trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Now, you would think two years is just a short time, but pain is still pain. Two years. The Lord wants to bring miracle. Who is that person? Come. Your time has come. I know that there are some of you that is more than two years but since you're already here the instruction is for two years but then your faith husband and wife Holy speaking I always encourage people when we are praying for people to receive children please make sure you are married we are Christians hallelujah of course everyone has a right to keep what you believe but within the context of the house of God we have a right to honor that which is consistent with our convictions we are going to pray hallelujah there will be a harvest of children that by by this year conference many people will come with children and say see what the lord has done will you oh, see, what, see what the lord, the lord has done has what we waited for please i like you to believe as i pray for you um please hold your wife i will pray for you just help those under the anointing my goodness healings are still happening we're going to take a few testimonies right now in the name of jesus i will pray for everyone but my attention has been drawn to you and your wife how long have you been married sir two years my dear place your hand on your stomach you believe in jesus and you believe in miracles according to the time of life i prophesy to you in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god the anointing of the spirit that came upon mary for mary said in luke chapter 1 34 and 35 he said how shall these things be seen that i know not a man he says that the power of the highest shall overshadow you i declare may that anointing rest upon you right now in the name of jesus christ I decree and declare your womb is open now, now help them please in the name of Jesus Christ now I pray for everyone here most let me tell you most conditions of barrenness help them they are caused by spirits believe me I've been in this work for many years I want to rebuke that demonic spirit right now in the name of Jesus every spirit that has tied down the fruitfulness of God's people we send the sound in the realm of the spirit that this is the kairos moment for fruitfulness therefore i command you let them go now release their wounds now in the name of jesus christ according to the time of life i prophesy to you no matter what the biological the medical issue is we correct it now by the power of god go and return with your miracle children for some of you return with twins in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I don't want you to come out God bless you for social reasons but the power of God is going to come upon you the Lord is showing me a family that when they get married they cannot stay in their marital homes there is a spirit that always fights them to return them back I'm, I'm not going to ask you to come out so you are not embarrassed but whoever that person is the yoke and the cause sitting on that family in the name that is above all names this night this moment here and now that is the acceptable time be free from that embargo now be free from that embargo now hallelujah please help them in the name of Jesus there's someone your your kneecap at your right knee I'm even feeling the pain here as I'm standing here in the name of Jesus you've been having a lot of pain the power of God is touching you right now the power of God is touching you right now the power of God is touching you right now. um for someone 
you feel severe pain around your chest it looks like pneumonia but it's not pneumonia but you it's severe it's like cold you know how cold enters into a person's system this is how you have lived perpetually for a while the power of god right now you can return to your seat help that woman the power of god is touching you right now be healed from that demonic thing now now whether i mentioned your case or not yours is to receive by faith um there's someone is like you have i don't know if it's a boil or a swelling or some discomfort in one of your nostrils this is what i'm seeing it bare pain in fact sometimes you can't even blow your nose with a tissue because one side of it brings is it has excruciating pain in the name of jesus i decree and declare wherever you are by the power that raised christ from the dead be set free now be set free now be set free now we believe you are blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.